Mariano flops a straight flush. Andy flops the ace high flush. Six hundred and eleven thousand dollar pot in a mega mega cooler situation. <laughs> and that is a four hundred twenty eight k pot. Brandon has one out and a hundred fifty nine thousand dollar pot. Oh no! What a super cooler. You know, I, I did this right now. I mean, come on, it's insanity. What are you doing? Ugh. It's my straddle, you idiot. Go ahead. <laughs> I just showed you what you do when you raise my button. You want to raise my straddle? I totally oh didn't realize, Nick. God, what are you doing, buddy? <laughs> are you straddled from there? Oh, yeah, wow. Look at this sweet baby We're here. Fine. No way the money doesn't get it. There goes Christian all in. If I'm Henry, I'm tanking. I'm just going to tank. Take a few minutes with it, Henry, before calling it off. I mean, it's my straddle. And Airball has aces, too. Look at this. What is going on? No, that's a race to one hit. <laughs> it's everyone else all in. <laughs> and it, Henry's toes are tingling. His phalanges. <laughs> Henry's got to make sure he's actually got aces here. He's just, he's three bet. And then he gets an all in, and then he gets an all in. That's why you fucker is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Christian start. Yeah. So Jabril opens, Henry three bets, Christian jams, and then Airball essentially jams behind. Uh, okay, so oh, you come for my straddle. <laughs> come for my fucking straddle! Yeah! Open, open, open. Open, open. <laughs> what, bitch? Can I get my side in here? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For my fans. Damn. What do you have? Actually, wow. I don't give a fuck. I just want to <laughs> felt Henry. Ace! Ace! I'm rooting for an ace as well. How? Don't mean. Life too good for me. Wow. What the fuck? Woo! 400 straddle. All right, let's take the straddle off after this. I'm the champion. I'm the champion. I'm the champion. Oh, yes, spades. I think you're in trouble with the queen. Nick, I have a queen. I'm leaving, guys. She don't Why? She looks like... Spade! Bye. <laughs> no, Spade? Why do you want a spade? I don't mind losing. <laughs> hey, wait, wait. Can you put it face down and let Henry sweat it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Henry might already oh, yeah, Christian's face. It's okay. I'm having fun. He's a static. It's okay. If he wins, he wins. Okay, Christian wants more of this. He needs a jack. He needs a spade. He needs a spade or a jack. Or a king. Yeah. So slow roll. Slow roll. Side pot? Slow roll. Oh, slow roll him. Ah! Good one. That was a fucking good one. God damn it. And a spade, right? Nick. You guys are so <laughs> Look at how happy Nick was. Nick oh. Oh. Thank I'm you, Nick. Oh, wait. Oh. 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 Very pretty hand for Mike. Hoodie with the suit of connector. He three bets it. And Mariano with the cold four bet with the suit of connector of his own. And aces for Ryan. Wow, what a spot. So Ryan stuck a lot tonight. He's got a good opportunity to make some money. He does just cold call the four bet, though. Maybe wants to bring Mike and Hoodie along. Oh, boy. And Mike is going to do even better and put in the five bet. 
what an amazing scenario developing for Ryan. 10,500. Hoodie gets out of the way. Mariano calls. And now, if Ryan puts in another raise, it's going to look so incredibly strong. Bump it up. 25 large. But he makes it 25K. If he's coolering Mike X, wants to make sure he gets the largest amount possible. A good, good rule of thumb is when a player does two different things in a hand that are pointing in opposite directions, the one that comes last and is for a lot more money is the, generally the one that is most meaningful. So Ryan just called the four bet and now puts in this back raise, what, six bet? Back raise six bet? That's the action I would trust to be the most meaningful. Mariano is going to call the 10 9 suited, try to crack a big hand here. Mariano probably quite aware that Ryan has some sort of premium. Oh boy. Wow. We could see a huge pot here. Bottom two for Mariano. Top set for Ryan, and it goes check, check. What a flop. Deuce of clubs might slow things a little, but it's hard to see how a ton of money doesn't go in here somehow. Mariano Check. might think that Ryan has something like kings or queens here. 20. 20 large. Just gonna call. 101,000 already in this pot. Mariano, the effective stack, has about one and a third pot behind. Check. Pretty bricky turn card, or river card rather. And how big does Ryan wanna go here? Top set in a six bet pot. Bet. Chunky bet here, about two thirds pot. 70,000. 70, sweat, huh? <laughs> I'm like a dumb pop. Ah, it's okay. Pretty fun sweat. Pretty much unfoldable, just so you know, Ryan, but I'm going to just give it a minute just to be extra careful. Yeah, and I feel like Mike had an I, uh, ace as well, so. So Mariano thinking that makes it less likely he's yeah, be here. Unfoldable. The thing is, if Ryan doesn't have aces, what's Mariano losing to? Just don't understand the flop check. Yeah. It's really so weird, dude. <laughs> Strange hand. We're so used to Mariano being on the other side of these kinds of situations. 
This time it's Mariano who's in the very rough spot. He makes the call. And Ryan Feldman wins a $242,000 pot, the largest pot of the night. Make it five large. Oh, <laughs> Anyways, back to this lineup. It's just Good try, Dave. incredible for the middle of the week. I gotta keep it up. <laughs> and what's gonna happen here? Mariana folds tens pre-flop. Airball has a bad hand, a connector, but he's in position. 40. <laughs> he's going to gamble. He's going to try and crack Wesley's Kings and get all of his chips. And also, his stand up is going right a new round. Oh, no. Instead, he's going to double up Wesley. From bad to worse for Nick Airball. This is a really good one third pot size bet from Wesley. The bet is 35 hundo and a plus. Airball will be going all in at some point. Just a stone cooler. Look who's in the box. Magic. Link check Ben is loving this. I know that. He loves this flop more than anyone. Almost 18,000 in the middle already. Wesley has 56 left. Bet 11 large. Time to send it in, Nick. Nope, just gonna call. Keep Wesley's bluffs alive. Nick makes a boat. Wesley flopped the boat. In this battle of artists. It's going to go to Salvador Wesley and the is going to be very tilted. All in, snap call. There's the cooler. Gross. True artist. Yeah. True artist fight hard. Thank you, Tila. Again? Five ways. Heads up. Five ways. Five hundred. What a flop from Mars. Mars only has eight high right now, but he has a flush draw and a straight draw and 53% equity. Airball bets his queen. Henry calls with a gut shot. And there's a raise for Mars, who just has a monster draw. Airball's not a believer. He makes the call. Henry's going to call as well. That is ambitious, might I say. That is a very ambitious call. Now... Airball's actually picked up a gut shot. Henry still has a gut shot. Mars still was just eight high. But he has unloaded. After check raising, he bets 10,000. Airball makes the call. Mars looking for a nine, a five. Oh my. He hits the six. I'm sorry, a nine or a four, I was going to say. And that is an absolutely dirty turn card, river card. It's a non-diamond. Airball, who has a pair of queens going into the river, makes his straight. But Mars has got the nut straight. That is the gin card. The non-heart, non-diamond four. 
is absolute gin card for Mars. And air ball is gonna get stuck here. Oh my, and Mars bet small. Air ball is gonna raise now. How much behind? Sooty. By the way, when you have the nuts and your opponent asks you how much behind, all in. there's the all in. Call. Sorry? Mars calls. Straight. Straight. That's straight. Nice time. Yeah, that is absolute disaster. And not much airball can do. I mean, a small bet from Mars. Airball kind of has to raise there and just shake his head. If it's a diamond, if it's a heart, I don't think airball raises. It had to literally be the four clubs or four spades for Mars to double up. What a disaster of a card here for airball. Oh boy, here's a flop. Top set for Andy, middle set for Brandon. We've been waiting for a collision for a while and we've got one. 62,000 already in there. Thirty-six thousand or thirty-seven thousand from Andy. And there's a raise. Andy loving this. A hundred thousand. And Andy shoves. Brandon snaps. And that is a four hundred twenty-eight K pot. Brandon has one out. <sighs> set over set. Nice job. Three to side. Six spot. Andy will give Brandon two chances to hit that last seven. <laughs> he, he takes his mic off and they're going to run it twice. Nothing there the first time. And nothing there the second time. So that's a 428K pot for Andy Stacks in a mega, mega cooler situation. Winning the biggest pot of the night off Brandon Steven. Like, don't do it. <laughs> I know, you, you almost re raised me. No, I didn't. <laughs> I, I promise. <laughs> Mariano almost raised, I can tell. <laughs> I, I thought he almost raised. I had a very good hand. You raised me, Andy? Uh, I, I raised you, yeah. Oh, you raised me too, And then he raised both of us. You raised, you raised me and Andy? You got death wish money? You hate money? Charles and I raised all Charles, of us. Charles, Charles, come huh? on, buddy. There's a three bet from Mariano with a medium pocket pair. Four bet from Charles. How much? Nine thousand? Annoying spot here for Andy. I think folding is definitely worth considering, but he is quite deep with both these players. So he might have other ideas. He does let it go. And Mariano is going to call and set mine here. Nineteen thousand already in there. And set mine achieved. Top pair, top kicker for Charles as well. So this could get really nasty for him. What a flop for Mariano. Pretty big bet for Charles 
in this spot. And on a dry board, Mariano is just going to call. Hope Charles keeps betting. Oh, wow. Trip Kings now for Charles, an ace kicker. And they're no good, at least not right now. What a life for Mariano. This past couple months haven't treated him especially well at the poker table. But there was a while there where it felt like he got at least one of these kinds of spots almost every night. Fifty-three thousand in the middle. Charles bets sixteen thousand. Mariano only seventy thousand back. And if he jams here, I don't see Charles getting away. I also don't see Charles bluffing the river when Mariano can so easily just have a king. So I think I just like moving in here right now. He's just going to call, which there probably is some merit to. And a brick on the river. Mariano with the check mark. And less than pot behind. In it goes, and Mariano is going to win a one hundred seventy thousand dollar pot, one eighty or so. Yeah, one hundred eighty thousand, and a massive cooler against Charles. One of the biggest pots of the night, heading toward Mariano. That's Strato. Strato. Um, Jacks for Eric. What does Henry want to do here? The King Nine suited. He and Eric are competing for this last marker. Henry calls. And I'm not sure what Will is thinking about here. He's thinking about calling, I guess. Definitely not mandatory, but he's in there. 19,500 already in this pot. Pretty good flop for Henry. Pretty good. Could have flopped quads. But I guess we can't all get lucky. So Eric already drawing dead since Will had one of the jacks. Oh boy. Oh wow. Jacks full for Eric. Kings full for Henry. No more jacks left in the deck. And these two players are the last two players involved in the stand-up game. So tons and tons of money. I mean, tons and tons of money were, were, was going to go in regardless, but what a turn card. Just a call from Eric. 62,500 in the middle.
The brick on the river. And Henry is going to shove. Almost certainly. About three quarters pot behind. He does go all in. Snap call. And $159,000 pot heads over to Henry. I thought I was looking at King Jack for a second. Oh my God. Rampage bumping it up on the button with Jack 8, Jungle Man. Okay. Get out of there. Gonna right. three bet. Fucking net. Santosh is gonna call though. I don't, I don't <laughs> <laughs> you should. Well, you got rid of Rampage, but smoke. now you gotta deal with the brick wall that is Santosh. Open end, uh, open ended with the seven eight. Ooh, a jack would be something, wouldn't it? Yeah. Santosh would love to have one All spade right, out there. Yeah. And the Sandman is going to uh, take a shot at it. Yeah, I like it. It's a good flop for his range. Which is pretty much any two cards. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> oh, wow. Check raise? This guy's going for it. This guy is action. Great. This is Santos you're trying to push around, Jungle Man. Quickly calls. There's not oh, one spade on. out there. Jack of diamonds. Jack of diamonds, baby. One time. Jack of diamonds You're one time. You're rooting for pain. You're rooting for blood. I love blood. It is a diamond, but it is not the jack. The five. Now what, Jello? You built this 110K pot. You got eight high out of position against... Against the man who doesn't like to fold. The brick wall. Now, it turns out he, he has the hand here that he will let go. Yeah. Maybe. But Jungle Man doesn't know that. Look at Santos. He's happy no one else is wearing the same shirt as him tonight. I'm just going to come out and say it, by the way. Those of you who did who did see the show last night. Santos wore it better, right? There's no doubt. He and Pepe were in the same shirt. He definitely wore it better. 55,000. Half pot. Three to one. The gut shot. Two overs. You don't know if the overs are good. How about, is there, how about just King High being good? <laughs> you don't think King High is good. <laughs> Oh, but he's going to call. I love this man. I love this man. What's going to be really fun is if it's a break on the river. I, I, I want him to win the hand with King High. He's not going to. Jungle Man's going to barrel if it's a break. He knows, Can he? He knows Santosh has a draw of some sort. Come on, Red Jack. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> the Jack of Diamonds. God, Magic, this isn't right. Oh, it is right. All is right in the world. Jungle has been putting on a show. Oh. He's made all the big moves, and we cooler him like this? This is awesome. He was going to win on a brick. Well, now he thinks he's going to win anyway. No, he's going to lose a pot over a half million. Yeah, this is going to be painful. I mean, it's $220,000 in a pot. Jam gets snapped. All in. There's the all in. There's the call. All in and a call. That is incredibly gross. Andy might be the best. Mariano's got King Ten suited. Charles three betting. Andy's got Ace four. I don't know. Could we see a cold four bet? No, he's gonna call though. Mariano is gonna four bet though. Good four. Charles calls. Good four. Good four. <laughs> he's a <the> friend. <laughs> 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 
Andy may be considering something. Ah, good call. He just calls. Twenty-seven thousand dollars in the pot. Diamonds are cheap. Do we get a potential diamond flop? Oh no! You gotta be kidding me! We've got a straight flush against the nut flush. I cannot believe this. I have never seen anything like this in my life. Mariano in a four bet pot has flopped a straight flush. And Andy with the ace high flush. $27,000 in the pot. It checked through on the flop. Mariano started this hand with about $300,000. Mariano bets $8,000 and just got raised. Imagine having a straight flush and getting raised. Mariano on the right side of your screen, right there, has flopped the straight flush in a four bet pot. $97,000 in the pot. Board does not pair. It is a fourth diamond out there. And Andy just bets $120,000. Mariano moves all in. Andy calls and shows him the ace. Oh my god. Mariano. $611,000 pot and Mariano can't believe it. We've seen that before. <laughs> Blank check Ben in the chat once again. Nobody loves it more than Ben. I hope I double through Mariano now and then I can really sure. thank Dario. <laughs> I think they're getting me a little extra. <laughs> Pocket Kings for double M. Han with ace queen. Dario with queen jack. Young with kings as well. And Mariano's got aces. Are you kidding me? What? What? Look at these hands. Kings, kings, aces. This is reminiscent of the World Series of Poker main event hand from a few years ago. I have um, 50, or yeah, 50 behind, okay? You cover me anyway. So thanks, you. I think so, yeah. Okay. Mariano has young and double M covered. Young, by the way, was up 160,000 before this hand. Han has ace queen. You never know what this guy's gonna do. That dude's got heart. He's a gambler. He could just move all in with ace queen. He could also fold. And it looks like he's leaning toward a fold this time. He doesn't like it, but he does let it go. Back over to Young. So you've got a three bet from Young, a four bet from Mariano, a call from Double M. Now it's back over to Young on the button with two black kings. These guys are deep. Young with the five bet. Action on Mariano. Can double M get away from it now? I think maybe he can. You ask yourself the question, can you ever fold Kings pre-flop? In the face of this, you might be able to. Once again, you know he has 50 behind. 
Oh, you're covering me. Just want to make sure. Mariano just calls. Thank what you. is happening? What the fuck? Double M just moved all in. You you cover me, but what the fuck is happening? Wait, did he? Yes, double M moved all in. Double M. Mariano probably thinks he's up against aces also. Can Young fold now? I think he can. What is that? I'm not sure. I'm talking to Double M. Yeah, but he's because you're both in a hand. It's okay. Yeah, he's all in. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. Don't worry about it. I'm just talking to him. I said something to him, which is totally fine because he's all in. He's all in. He didn't say anything to me. No. Yeah. Think. I said something to him. He didn't respond to me. Two hundred forty. What did you say, Mariana? Yeah, I can't. I can't. Uh, I can't. I can't. Okay. He said, "This is crazy." I have upstairs. I got it. He said, "This is crazy." Yeah, don't don't worry. I'm not doing anything like. What in an insane spot. I mean, if you're young, I think you can probably find a fold. There have been very few times you fold. Drink kind of hit me. You don't really fold kings pre flop, but I, I think you can find the fold here. Okay, so this is my money, right? This is your money. That's right. 100, 200, 50. Just put it on my stack first. Double M all in for a quarter of a million dollars. Mariano probably thinks one of his, probably thinks double M has aces also. It's gross, but one of your opponents has aces every time. Wow, Young. We're dead. Can we please Obviously. go twice? Oh, you have aces? Hold on, hold I have on, aces. In the hand, once or twice. Twice. Twice? We're dead. If he's tanking this much, we're dead. You're good. Once or twice. Can we please go twice? What do you have? Two times then. He has kings? We're dead. Okay. Oh my god, what the fuck? This is a three quarter of a million dollar pot. Yeah, Aces really versus so kings oh, versus like, kings. I know. I, well, what he tanked huh? for as long as he did, I knew I was dead. No, I know. I'm just saying the reason I said that to you like right away. Thank you. you know, I was like, I, like, I don't want you to sit here and like, you know. Twice. I appreciate it. I don't know what he's saying. He loves you. Twice. 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 That was three bet, four bet, five I bet. That I was dead. Six uh, yeah, bet, yeah. all in. Uh, or seven bets, I don't even know. Just pure insanity. This is a three quarters of a million dollar pot. Mariano has them both covered. By the way, both players have one live suit. I leave. Mariano is in disbelief. Aces versus kings versus kings. And each player with over a quarter million dollars in front of them. And that's it. That is it. Churn in the river, meaningless. Mariano has just won a three quarters of a million dollar pot. He covers me, right? That's right. Yeah. Just drop the mic and end the show. What else can you say?
It's Mariano's world. We just live in it. <laughs>